Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and firstly I'd like to say a massive thank you to everyone who showed support for the first game review I did a couple of days ago and that was for Days Gone on PS4 and now I'm going to review what I believe was the best game of 2018 yes I'm well aware that God of War also came out that year and I have that game and I may very well review that for you in the very near future let me know if you want me to do that but this review is for my favourite game of 2018 Spider-Man on PS4 the reason I bought a PS4, as I'm sure many of you out there were in the same situation as me, you had nothing against Sony. I mean, I had a PS2 for years and years and years. I loved that console, even though I had about, I don't know, six PS2s. You know, I had that famous kind of uh, problem where they die after a while or whatever it was. Then with the 360s, you had the red, uh, red rings of death. But I loved my Xbox 360, so I stuck with Xbox for a while. I really liked uh, how it worked on Xbox Live. And uh, didn't really go back to PlayStation for a long time and never really intended to. I was aware of exclusives that would come along like Last of Us and God of War and uh, a few other titles, Uncharted. Uh, but as far as Uncharted went, I just thought, well, I could just play Tomb Raider and that'll be fine. Um, but then again, you know, just had to bite the bullet when it came to Spider-Man. I just, I loved Spider-Man on PS2 uh, from the uh, Spider-Man 2 Sam Raimi film. The first game where you could really free roam, kind of swing around as Spider-Man. Like, that's the one that started it all, so full respect and tip of the hat to, uh, you know, all those guys who worked on Spider-Man 2 back on the PS2 and Xbox uh, many years ago. Was that 2005, something like that? Great game. I played it a lot. And uh, I want to give uh, a massive shout out to another Spider-Man game, which I also really love. And uh, that will kind of bleed into something I want to talk about in this game. Like the one thing that I thought was lacking uh, that was actually present in Spider-Man Web of Shadows which didn't get very good reviews when it came out, but I really enjoyed Web of Shadows. Uh, the fact that you, you know, click of a button, you could become like the symbiote Black Spider-Man uh, anytime you want, and you had a whole different move set. The combat in that game was fantastic. And that's the thing that, uh, the one thing that was kind of missing from this game on PS4 was the ability to stand on the side of a building and fight people. Um, and that's something you could do in Web of Shadows. And it was incredible. The first time I did that, um, I was just, I was blown away that I was having this full on fight, you know, with the vast array of moves and combinations you could do in Web of Shadows. Um, you know, just fighting like 15 to 20 different enemies on the side of a building, leaping off the building and then continuing to fight in the air, then zip lining back to the wall again and fighting on the side. It was just incredible. Uh, it's the one thing you can't do in this, uh, but I just wanted to tip my hat to uh, Web of Shadows, a game that I felt really. Mo, mo, probably because of the amount of Spider-Man games that were being chucked at us around the time of Web of Shadows. We certainly had a lot of games to choose from and not all of them were very good. Uh, but I really enjoyed that one so uh, just wanted to mention that. Here is the um, the original Iron Spider with the spider arms and um, they're actually gold spider arms like they should be. I think that was an update they did later on. Um, right, so I better look at my list of notes that I have to... Uh, things I want to mention in this review. So... Uh, I've already mentioned the Web of Shadows thing. And then the next thing on my list, and forgive me, it simply says MJ slash bitch. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I know that they were going for, you know, the whole, you know, Me Too thing. And, you know, women have always been strong as far as I'm concerned. I was raised by a woman uh, and I've got a sister, no brothers. So I was raised by women and um, love and respect them. But MJ in this game, I just most of the time... She just came across as just straight up nasty to Peter at times. Um, just unnecessarily kind of passive aggressive kind of, yeah. So I wasn't a fan of this version of MJ and, you know, especially when I had to be her. Uh, apart from the one mission where you get to kind of trigger Spider-Man to come in and take out goons for you, which was awesome to see from um, another perspective. Um, so yeah, we'll move on from the MJ thing. I mean, it's not a deal breaker, but I certainly didn't like her attitude a lot of the time. Uh, I get what they were going for and um, just wasn't a fan of it. Uh, I think they handled Black Cat really well. She was very cool in this game. And uh, then we move on to best photo mode to date. Yeah, I love my photo mode in games. And, you know, there are some games with incredible photo modes. The, uh, the first one that I really messed around with was the Arkham Knight photo mode. And that was incredible to be able to take Batman in any different suit that I wanted put him in his world and just pause the game at any moment and take a comic book style picture or you know they're so high res that you could even take it to a you know an art shop and have it printed out on a canvas uh, oh god it's giving me vertigo there i'm standing on the side of the building there's the sam raimi suit that came along 
That was uh, better late than never. That was absolutely awesome when they gave that. That was a big surprise. I remember I was out and about. I looked at my phone and uh, I saw that uh, Insomniac had uh, just released the update where you could get this suit from the Sam Raimi films. Absolutely awesome. It looks incredible with that kind of sunset as well. But yeah, best photo mode in a game. Um, so easy to use. Uh, I've done about maybe six separate photo mode videos on this channel now, just strictly showing you pictures I've taken in the game. If you're interested, definitely check them out. Uh, I've definitely taken a few sweet pics here and there. This isn't. This was literally just pausing it and just thought I might as well show you guys how you do it in case you're not familiar. And in case you still haven't got a PS4 in order to play this game, I mean, I there was no doubt about it. I had to get a PS4 to play this. I wasn't going to go one day without this game in my life. There's Black Cat there. She looks awesome. Love the design for her. Uh, there's another cool picture there taken in photo mode, but definitely my favorite uh, photo mode. Some games, you know, like Last of Us, I found that one a bit tricky to use at times to get the exact angle I wanted. Um, but the detail when you go into photo mode in this game, when you zoom right in on their suits, uh, like Spider-Man, the, the detail just on his... I took the one picture of him shooting a web and I zoomed right in on his hand in that classic kind of web shooting pose, you know. And uh, went right into his fingertips and the stitching is <laughs> ridiculous. Oh, incredible detail. So, yeah. Uh, then we move on to boss fights, which I enjoyed. I never felt very frustrated. Uh, I was playing it on normal. Um, I forget what the difficulty settings are on this. Some games have more uh, sort of their own version of difficulty settings. Other games just have simply uh, easy, medium and hard. But whatever it was, I was playing it on the normal one. Uh didn't find it very frustrating. I mean, once you quickly figure out what technique you need to use to defeat the boss that you're fighting, uh, I found it quite enjoyable. And the main thing was it was challenging at times, but never, you know, you're Spider-Man for Christ's sake. You should never be that, um, you know, in that much of a pickle because, oh, there's the Avengers Tower there in the background. I like that picture. That is a contender for taking down to the printing shop and saying, put it on a canvas. I'm chucking basketballs at dudes here, <laughs> just relentlessly. Oh man. So some people in the reviews when this game came out said that the um, when you're on a rooftop and you punch a bad guy off the roof and he goes flying down, uh, that they die. But no matter who you knock off the side of a building, you may see it or you may not. If you look, you will see it. Uh, as they're falling to the ground, they somehow manage to kind of web zip to the wall. Uh, so they don't actually die. So Spider-Man never really kills any bad guys in this game that I know of um officially <laughs> but this is a section in the game where it's kind of raining and it's very kind of somber uh, because of some events that recently happened in the story you won't be seeing anything beyond the halfway point uh, i started a new game plus and this footage is from that so you won't be seeing any major spoilers in this review um i'm sure there's plenty of people out there that's what i was going to say before who haven't taken the leap to ps4 just to play this game it is worth it I'll tell you that um, this game is amazing. That There's a reason I'm saying it's the best game of 2018. They nailed every element. The graphics are silly good. I mean, look at the glow from his suit as he walks up the wall. It's actually affecting the environment around him. The animations, um, if you walk slower or if you crawl slower on the wall, you really notice how his fingers land on the brick. And just it's, it's so much love and passion put into this game. It's dripping with atmosphere. Swinging around at night is a different experience than swinging around during the day. Uh, there's no day and night cycle and you can change it. And once you complete the story, there's these little places you can go to and you can choose morning, midday, afternoon, nighttime. And that will give you all the options you want for where the position of the sun for your photography. It's kind of cool in a way because if there was a day and night cycle and you were going for a particular image, in your photography uh you might get frustrated with the sun keep constantly you know setting when you're trying to get a you know a nice bright daylight shot uh here's photo mode where you just literally can move the camera around any way you want i'm kind of making it look as you know as smooth as possible here just to, there's spider but uh just to let you see the rich glorious detail he's like i think he's like the highest point of the map right now one of the i think that's the avengers tower um but just incredible incredible detail but back to the boss fights um you know they were really good i got no complaints like i said i was sometimes slightly frustrated doing them but never to the point where it was not fun anymore i always enjoyed it and i enjoyed figuring out how to beat them uh here's uh <laughs> i don't know why um i think i changed suits and forgot to change the superpower here because those arms do not belong on the sam raimi suit but that um you know it's cool that you can do that anyway you can come up with your own little combinations 
so yeah boss fights satisfying for me uh, really well designed great locations that they take place in and some of them are really epic um so yeah great job with the, uh, the boss fights now onto web swinging you know it's like the most important thing really with a spider-man game um i really really loved the swinging in web of shadows um i could never really decide whether i think on the original ps2 spider-man uh spider-man 2 game the first one where you could free roam swing around uh could you use both triggers like i'd like the idea of using the left trigger for your left hand to shoot webs and then the right trigger for your right hand to shoot webs uh, but you know and then if you press both at the same time you could maybe uh shoot you know and then sort of suspend yourself between two buildings just really cool stuff like that i remember being able to do that in the original ps2 game not so much in web of shadows but i really enjoyed the sense of speed and you could loop the loop uh, in Web of Shadows and in the original PS2 game as well, but you can't loop the loop in this game. You can hang on to your web indefinitely, your, you know, your web line. That was a big one for me when this game was about to be released. I was desperately looking for the answer to that. Could you uh, just, you know, hang on to your web line that you shoot out for as long as you want and literally just hang there if you wanted to? Yes, you can, but you have to let go of everything else other than the, you know, the trigger for holding on to the web line. If you touch anything else, he'll kind of automatically let go and get ready to shoot the next web line. Um, but that is how you're able to hang yourself upside down in that classic cool Spider-Man pose anywhere you want on the map. Um, and there's a cool combination. You've got the green suit with the red arms. Uh, I really like this section of the game as Peter Parker sneaking into uh, the office and then getting caught. And that was really tense. A vent somewhere. Uh, so web swinging in this game, uh, I do think now that I've had you know a long time playing it, I would say this is uh, the best, although you have to give full credit really to the original Spider-Man 2 game on PS2 and Xbox uh, because that is the one that started it and who knows where we would be now um, without that particular game inspiring people to do what we've got now before us, which is arguably, I mean, it's the best Spider-Man game to date and it's going to be tough for him to follow this up with a sequel. I mean, that's the interesting thing because I'm, I'm assuming the next Spider-Man game on PS4 will also be set in New York. So they don't really have to worry about making a new city from scratch. They can just take the city we've already got, add things in and just spend all that time working on story elements and other cool moves that Spidey can do and all the things that they might have forgotten to put in this one, like maybe the wall fighting. Maybe that'll be in the next one and obviously Venom and Carnage and hopefully stuff like that. Uh, what else we got? So. To wrap up web, sn uh, web slinging, I really love it in this game. I wish you could do things like loop the loop. You can't do that, but I do think all in all it is probably the best and most great feeling uh, web slinging we've had so far. Uh, next one is the city itself, and I do think that is an incredible city. It's something that Arkham, you know, the Rocksteady guys who make the Arkham games, you need to take note of just how alive this city feels. It's, um, you know, in Arkham Knight... Uh, once you completed the story, I, as much as I love being Batman in that world, I just found it very, there was just nothing to do. And the same goons were always walking around doing the same animations. One guy picks up a tra uh, trash can, throws it at the window, another guy's doing push-ups, another guy's talking to someone else about Bruce Wayne. But there's just no incentive to go down there and interact with them anymore. So I got bored of Arkham Knight a lot quicker than I have with this, uh, because I still feel, even though I completed the story and I'm, I'm able to go around as Spider-Man and just swing around, have fun, the police radio will uh, sound off and I'll hear that someone's being mugged or there's someone's being kidnapped or there's a bank robbery or a break-in or a drug deal or any other number of things. And sometimes I'll ignore it. Other times I think, yeah, I'll go do that. And I have fun whenever I do get involved. I love the combat in this game. It's really deep. You can kind of create your own fighting style. There's so many uh, variations of moves you can do. Uh, so the city is very alive. I think it sounds alive. It looks incredible. Uh, great draw distance. There's a lot of people on the streets, a lot of cars on the roads. And even when you get really high up on the top of a skyscraper, you can still see quite a lot going on on the ground below you. So uh, very, very good city and rock steady. I hope that they uh, stop doing the whole abandoned city thing for the next game. Hopefully if they are doing another Batman game, it's time to give us a Gotham City that is alive at night. And figure it out, do what you need to do, but make it happen because this game did it. I know it's different with Batman and it's different with Spider Man, very much a different vibe, but it's time to make Gotham live. So, hashtag make Gotham live, people. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, what's next? Great soundtrack. It really is. This, you know, the main theme of this game, there was one particular time where I put my console on and I was just chilling and I put the game on just so I could hear the theme playing on the title screen. This is really epic and it's really, really f sounds like high production stuff. It's movie worthy, definitely worthy and better than a lot of the Marvel actual movie soundtracks I've heard. Uh, the main theme for this, 10 out of 10, absolutely incredible work. Uh, all the suits that you can unlock for Spider-Man, just amazing. They really took care of people on this one. You've got, wow, there's, uh, I should have actually put in some footage here so to remind myself and have gone through all the different suits that are available, but pretty much, they pretty much covered all of them. You've got your Sam Raimi Spider-Man suit here. You've got your Homecoming Spider-Man suit and the homemade suit from Homecoming. Uh, you've got the Iron Spider suit, the original one from the comics and the one from uh, Avengers Infinity War and Endgame. Um, you've got this one here that you're seeing in the photo mode. That's uh, oh, I love that's probably one of my favorite pictures. That one right there. It's simple, but it's just cool. But there's the homecoming suit, just perfect proportions. Uh, the animations again, gorgeous. The the sun there, just glaring off the screen. This game, oh man! Until the next one comes out, I'll be playing this quite happily. I certainly got my money's worth. This is one of those games where, you know, however much it was, I think, uh, well, I got it with the console because I bought a PS4 to play this, so it was obviously more than just buying the game, but it's well worth it. I've had more than my money's worth of uh, entertainment out of this so far. Uh, but all the suits, just incredible. Uh, I'm not familiar with all of them. There's Stanley, RIP. Man, absolutely uh, legendary icon. Left one hell of a legacy. God bless him. Yeah, man, that sun just glaring through the trees there, just spidey. Look at the sense of scale when you're on the ground. That's something that um, really gets to me. I just look up at the, the top of the buildings. These buildings aren't even that tall. And they, it really is a very realistic sense of scale. That dude has one too many <laughs> Spider-Man uh, saying, hey, uh, you take it easy. <laughs> one too many for you. Oh, what's going on over here? Trouble on the streets. I ain't getting involved in this. Time to do. I'm just going to go this way. Yep. Uh, so what have we got? All the suits. Yeah, great, uh, great selection of suits. Pretty much something for everyone. Um, and they had to save something for the sequel. So no black suit in this one, but you can bet your butt in Spider-Man 2 on PS4. We're going to get all the suits that we didn't get uh, first time around. Although, I mean, I really think they covered one hell of a vast, you know, I mean, like I said, there's something for everyone here suit wise. That looks incredible. The Iron Spider suit with the, uh, the accurate colored arms. Oh, man, combat in this game is just great. Uh, so, uh, my next note is reason I bought a PS4. Well, I've already covered that. You know that already. So, we'll move on to the next one. Uh, what's this? Fight your own way. Oh, yeah. Well, that was, like I said before, about how in-depth the combat is. Now, when you combine the fact that you can, you know, evade and kind of you sense the incoming attacks when you're in a fight with people. So, you can sort of work that in. I love bouncing off a wall and then using that momentum off the wall to really sort of just cannonball into people. Uh, the web attacks, and then you can open up your wheel of different web, you know, there's electric webs, there's web lines that you can sort of like booby trap on a wall, uh, like here, I just use the environment to take out two guys, uh, webbing people up from the top of objects like this dude here, just wait for his man to turn around, then boom, that's it, you're done, fried chicken, <laughs> and then take care of this next fool, just roll up on him like this, catch him slipping, ooh, that's your ass, web him up. Um, so what was I saying? Yeah, you can, oh, that's a cool picture right there. Tasty. Oh, and that one too. That's, that's me. That is, that's all me. Ah, and here's me hanging upside down in the middle of Times Square, which is something you can do. Like I said, if you hang onto that web and don't let go and let him come to a stop and make sure he doesn't touch anything, you have to avoid that wall that he's right beside. If he touches that, he'll drop. So it's really <laughs> quite a pain in the butt to do, but you can hang upside down anywhere. Uh, if you know how I'm Spider-Man, so I know how. <laughs> Uh, yeah, fight your own way, uh, develop your own style, incorporate different tricks, use your webs, mix it up, don't just punch, 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 throw a web at them now and then, if you're beating one dude up, quickly like throw a web at the guy behind you without even turning around, you can do cool stuff like that man, uh, you can uh, kick someone up into the air and then f shoot webs while they're in the air and by the time they land they're stuck to the ground or, that's just, it's amazing, oh, I could talk all day about the fighting and I haven't mastered it by any stretch, I know that I, basically suck there's people out there who probably uh, can do amazing things in this game i'm 38 now my reflexes i'm starting to slow down a little bit um but i just wow i love this game i really really do so i have pretty much covered everything on my list 
So we've still got a little bit of time here to talk at you. So I would really love some kind of Avengers game. It's, it's, I don't know how they're going to do that. Let's have a little play around on the ice here, on the ice rink. Do a little dance. He's not sliding, though. I thought it'd be cool if he did actually slide a little bit on the ice surface. But he's, uh, well, well, he's Spider-Man. He's got sticky hands and feet, so I guess he wouldn't slide, maybe. Anyway, let's uh, zip line out of here. Yeah, some people don't like the Sam Raimi suit because of the kind of silver webbing. I get that. That's cool. But I just, I don't know, maybe it's the nostalgia. Uh, I really do love Spider-Man 1 and 2, not so much 3. That's another time where I didn't really like the character of MJ was Spider-Man 3. She was a pain in the butt in Spider-Man 2, but the film's so good, you kind of forgive it. Um, but yeah, man. I do love this suit, and I'm so happy they included it. Um, let me think. It would be nice if they included the uh, suit from the cheesy kind of 70s TV show. <laughs> as funny as it looked, it'd be cool, man, if you could do that. Uh, I like some of the more freaky kind of animated-looking suits that you get in this game. There's one in particular, I'm not even sure where it's from, but I think he's really cartoony-looking. And he's got, I think he's got a backpack on. Uh, I'm really not f too familiar with that version. But the one from the Spider-Verse animated film, that's a really good suit. That's a good one to use at night because at night the game is a bit too bright for nighttime. So I, when I am swinging around at night just patrolling, I will go into the settings and turn the brightness down a fair bit because I want it to look dark. Like I, wanted, I want the street lights to be what illuminates things. So um, I like to turn the brightness down a fair bit for the nighttime gameplay. Uh, and then I usually switch to the Spider-Verse uh, suit because it's very bright and vibrant and it, you can always see it at night. Some of these suits, like the Sam Raimi suit, if you turn down the brightness at night, you're probably not going to see yourself swinging around. So there's some other cool pictures here. Oh, man. Just cool little details like the way you can, you know, you can't, you can jump off the side of a building or you can flip off the side of a building. There's other things you can do, like when you're stuck to the side of a building, you kind of leap, you do a somersault off the wall and you then you can double web the edge of the the building in front of you and kind of oh, it's just you can really come up with some cool tricks i haven't managed to find any uh, maybe it doesn't really happen so much these days but you know i can imagine there's someone out there who's figured out all of the gymnastics and acrobatics of this game and things i even saw one guy doing because i know how to do the somersaults and the backflips and the side turns you know tricks when you're in the air but i saw one guy do a move that i've never been able to do i can't figure out what button combination it is to pull it off but uh, this was a really cool moment in the game as well again not too much of a spoiler here this is still quite early on in my new game plus uh, plus playthrough, Mr. Negative or Dr. Negative, I forget now. But, um, I mean, I can say Dr. Octopus is in the game. I mean, I'm sure you know that by now. It's been out for long enough. Uh, and he, oh, there he is there. He's on the phone to Peter Parker. He was handled so well. Um, all the characters were in this game. The bad guys were fantastic. And the cutscenes involving them were really, really well thought out and really well done. So... I don't think we've had any news that there will be a sequel, uh, but I'm sure there will be. Um, you know, so many people like myself probably bought a PS4 just to play this, and it damn well turned out to be worth it. There's a really nice shot of the Iron Spider suit. This was cool. Down in a sewer somewhere, I think, in one of the missions. And the DLC was good as well. Um, Hammerhead and Black Cat packages and uh, what's the name? Silver, Sable or something. It was all good stuff. Some of it was more challenging than I was expecting it to be. Um, but I eventually, you know, got it done and felt very satisfied when I did. But yeah, man, we're coming to the end of the review. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments section if you did enjoy it. And I'll see about maybe uh, throwing together a little God of War review for you. Got some interesting things to say about that. Now, like I said at the beginning, God of War came out the same year as this game. And I definitely would choose this one over that. And I remember even saying to my buddy Nick, we were both waiting for Red Dead 2 and Spider-Man to come out. And uh, as much as I loved Red Dead, and I do love Red Dead 2, I remember saying to him, if you gave me the choice right now, you could say, you know, you can either play Spider-Man 2 or Red Dead 2, or Spider-Man, or Red Dead 2 right now. I just said Spider-Man, because I know it's going to be fun for a long, long time. It's going to be a gift that keeps on giving. Uh, 10 out of 10. Forget about it. It's amazing. So, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you did. And definitely pick up a PS4 if you've been on the fence about it. This game is well worth it. You will not regret it. You will have yourself some fun no matter how old you are. It's amazing. All right. Subscribe. Hit the bell icon. Check me out at uh, Facebook, Instagram, Patreon, all that stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon. Take it easy. Bye-bye.